Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to the Mayhem Morning Minute. Actually, it's more like the Afternoon Minute, but we will uh, let that one go today. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in your neck of the woods and in your spot that you and your people have carved out. I want to ask you a question. And it's on the minds of a lot of other people. Are you a hoarder? Yeah. Do you have two cans of tomato sauce in your pantry? Then you might be a hoarder. I might be running off the road. Do you have more than six rolls of toilet paper? You might be a hoarder. You know what? I don't care. Um, there's a lot of strange stuff going on with this COVID crap, whether you believe it, you don't believe it. Uh, there is something going on, but you know, whether you believe to the degree that they want you to believe, you know, that is entirely up to you. Um, and all of the stuff that is going on with this election. Whole bunch of strange stuff, guys. Really strange stuff going on. And then there are people in the news who want to bring attention to the fact that you might have set aside a certain amount for you and your family and your people for the hard times, for tough times. And they want to make you feel bad about it. And they want to hang you to a tree and crucify you because you had the foresight to get five bottles of shampoo for your kids uh, or you, you know a case of soap whatever hard hand soap that you prefer or like and that is how these people are acting nowadays so let me tell you and let me break this down for you there's nothing wrong with setting aside a certain amount whatever you deem is necessary whatever you can afford and what is reasonable in your head that is not hoarding that is not the crazy stuff that you see you have everything situated set up you have plans in place myself I plan for six people for six months that's a lot of groceries and you know what if somebody doesn't like it I just plain don't care you know why because they might be hungry, but mine won't. It's just the way it is. Um, now, it can go into a whole different subset of learning how to prepare and, you know, planning wisely, copy canning, first in, first out kind of stuff. We're not even going to talk about that today. But... I don't want anybody to browbeat you guys and make you feel like you're doing something wrong because you bought 10 pounds of hamburger meat and froze 8 pounds of it. You didn't. You were smart. Remember the story of the ant and the grasshopper when we were little? How the ant worked and set aside and planned and then the grasshopper played and danced around all summer long until the snows came started getting cold and then there wasn't any food for the grasshopper and the ant kept stockpiling and putting stuff away and the ant when it was finally too cold to be outside he closed the door to his little ant house 
grasshopper was left outside. And in the modern version, the ant took pity on the grasshopper and let him in and kept him company all winter long and the grasshopper learned his lesson. Well, that's kind of the woke version of it. The version I learned was the grasshopper died and the ant ate him because the grasshopper did not prepare. And I can say all sorts of disparaging things about the grasshopper, but that really doesn't matter because the grasshopper made a fine meal in the belly of the ant. There is nothing wrong with planning, setting aside X. About a quarter of the stuff that my wife and I have set aside we end up giving away to friends and family and neighbors, food-wise and stuff like that. Case in point, uh, the turkeys and the hams, we gave, uh, we gave away one of each uh, after we cooked them for Thanksgiving. And that's not to say how great we are. That is just something we set aside and plan for because we know that is, that is just how we do. Um, Again, do not let these groups, these people, tell you that it's wrong for you to set aside 10 pounds of rice, 20 pounds of rice, 50 pounds of rice for your family, storing it properly throughout the year. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have the room and the money and you don't go into credit debt, doing it, more power to you. It's a good hobby, teaches thriftiness, and it, it is a good thing to pass on to your children and your grandchildren. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing it. There is one other thing I would like to uh, uh, pass along to you. With all of uh, the shortages that will be coming up, if you have children or grandchildren, if you can afford it, make sure that you've already purchased their Christmas things now. It might be some sort of a strain on you. I know a lot of people wait till the last minute. We try not to do that. But the things that you would like to get your kids and your grandkids, they may be in very short supply. And, and while I would like to say I hope you and your significant other have a wonderful Christmas full of stuff and trinkets, yeah, the main thing to me as far as Christmas is kids. Christmas is for children. So whether or not you and your spouse get everything you want for Christmas, I really don't care. The way she goes. I'm more worried about your kids and your grandkids because Christmas is for children. Um, I'll enjoy it regardless of whether or not uh, my wife and I are able to do anything for ourselves because we'll always take care of each other regardless. It may not be at Christmas. It's just how it is. Christmas is for children. So, two take home points from this one. There's no such thing as hoarding when you're preparing for your family. And shop early for your Christmas stuff. Oh, I do have to tell you one more thing. I, I was actually uh, requested that uh, I, I begin saying this. Uh, this video, uh, while you can, you can watch it, you can also lay it down in your car and listen to it like a podcast. This video is for topical use only. Take care of you people, guys.